Hi guys, Mums and Dads. Today we are looking at top tricks to win on Hit Wicket Superstars. I've recorded a video on gameplay, etc. A little link will come up there. Um, so click on that if you want to watch the game. This is the top 10 tricks I think will make you better at the game. Some you'll know, some will be quite new to you, I think. It's a great little game though, so I do recommend downloading it. Have a go. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But um, I say it's quite addictive and uh, if you get into it, then uh, it does uh, keep you busy for a while. First major tip is on the squad. There's two ways to do squads. You either level up your players slowly over time, but I think the best way to do it is to get one player and just max them out as quick as you can, because that one player on his own, if he has a decent start, will win you games, you know, getting 100 runs and no one else will even need to make a run. So in my case, I've got William Bowden here, four-star, world-class, tip-top player, you know, um, he pretty much bails me out a lot of the games on his own. If he does fail, then you have got the other players and it's, uh, it is trickier, but um, I say getting one super duper player really does help you out. So one batsman and then also one bowler. The bowler is less important because you control the batting in this game. Uh, the computer controls how, how you bowl. Still part of tip one, if you have sort of built up a great, brilliant team and then you get your world class players later on, don't worry because those players with those stars do help out your world class players when you level them up or star them up. The only issue is if you have powered them up so to level 30, level 35, then you do lose those training points. But the stars, if you have starred them up, will help your world-class players further on. So don't worry if you've got reliable or brilliant players starred up, they will help you out in the future. Like most tycoon-style games, you have to build and build and build. Um, but your, your aim is to get 11 world-class players, 6 batsmen and 5 bowlers. So tip 2, and you might know this already, is that in a game of cricket... If you take a single off the last ball of an over, so one run, then the same batter is facing the next over. So if you haven't got one really good player, then do whatever you like for the first five balls, so long as it's an even number. And then on the last ball, click single or one run. And then the next over, you've still got your world-class amazing player to face the next six balls. This works brilliantly unless they get out, but even numbers all the way to the last ball, and on the last ball, then hit a one. If you've got power-ups like smashing that lot, you know, get to the end of the over, hit the one, start the new over, then hit the smash, so like so. So I'm in the Premier League on here, so it's the top league, but when you're building your way up through bronze, silver, gold, master... What you want to do is not win the league by too many matches. Um, just do enough to get promoted or, or get second or third place, whatever, whatever the criteria is to, for promotion. If you win your league by about 100 points, then your trophies are so high that the matchmaking in the next league is really, really difficult. Uh, for example, I did this too much, and I'm only level 59. I'm just about... 71st in the main league. But if you watch who I matchmaked with a lot of the time... It's very difficult because I, I have far too many trophies for my level, 59. Uh, the matchmaking is always putting me up against really good players, which I've got no chance of winning. So what are we going to get? It's 100. So the trophy's on there, 4468. Four, He's got 4547. Four, so it is quite a bit ahead, but even so, all 9,000 bowlers. My best bat is 8-6, so I'm not going to win that. Um, what I have to do then is lose a load of games uh, to then win. Um, if When you start the league, you start on 0 points. If you lose like 5 or 6 games to these really good teams, you don't get minus 6, you're still on 0, so that's one of the tricks. So if you do get ahead of the game like I have, lose a load on your 0 points, that'll bring your trophies down, and then you can start playing players that you can actually beat. However, I wish I'd, when I got promoted, I'd only just got promoted, not won by too many points, because I did win divisions by 20, 30, 40 points sometimes, just thinking I wouldn't get promoted if I switched the phone off. So, uh, only just get promoted. Don't miss out on promotion, but only just get promoted is, uh, is one of my tips. Another trick when you're well into the game, if you go to squad and go to equipment at the top, you will have accumulated so much stuff, and you probably don't need it, so keep the pros. But all the basic stuff, and I do this regularly, you can sell it. And although each one isn't too much, it's 300,000, I ended up selling 100 of these. And it's like, you know, proper money. I think I got about 28 million just from selling all the extra equipment that I had. So sell your equipment, and the next two tips are that in the shop, the things that I would never buy, and all games these days are paid to win, but don't buy the top shards even if you only need one or two they're so easy to accumulate in the game you do not need to pay for them to get two world class shards it's like 200 coins the other thing i think you shouldn't buy is if you do buy the battle pass um there's a, usually an option to buy it with extra tiers 
to level up the tiers is so easy. Do not spend extra money buying those tiers. If you want to spend the money, just buy the coins to help buy other things. But you don't need to buy 20 tiers on the Battle Pass, Season Pass, whatever it's called, because it's just so easy to max it out. I've maxed it out already, and it was only 10 days gone. Another trick that you might have missed, and I hope you haven't, because it is a destroyer, is in the daily goals at the top, on the right-hand side here, there are challenges. So when you do your daily challenges, you get a tick. But people forget to click on the shirt to actually claim the points. So, for example, I'm going to claim this here. So I've got five. I need to collect that times five and points to do that. I need to click on the shirt. See the little tick now. So many people aren't collecting their shirts. So please do. You've earned them, so you might as well collect them. Another great tip, and I don't have one on my screen at the moment, is that usually when you log on, somebody's played you and beaten you, and a pop-up comes up and says, play your rival. If that pops up, click OK and have a look, see what the le skill level your rival is. You'll find that 9 times out of 10, they are beatable. It's less energy, and it's still two league trophies. Uh, so it'll save playing level 100 players or whatever your level is. You know, If you click on that... Uh, you've been beaten, let's take revenge. Have a look at least to see what the skill is, and if it's a decent one, take them on, it will help you with your league. That is, of course, if you're not miles ahead of everyone else. This is only when you're struggling to, to stay up or uh, get promoted. So there's two things in the game that I want to, to point out. I'm going to call this trick Hex Watch or other Power Watch. So what it is, is when you're about to use your power up as a batter, just check what the bowler's ability is on because if it's one off being um, triggered then you want to wait for your special ability because if you accidentally miss then your whole power up is completely wasted so here's an example i'm about to use smash you can see hex is two bars up in the top right hand corner so i'm pretty much safe to do this but if i was only one bar off and it wasn't guaranteed uh, things like uh, the boomerang or uh, the two times skill just make sure that before you press it you just check what the bowlers on it sounds a uh, quite an easy thing to do and most people miss it but if you lose a power up then that can really hinder your chances of winning I'm lucky here because he's all 99% because the bowlers not very good but in a proper match that hex could have kicked in if I missed one the other thing that I do accidentally sometimes, and it's frustrating because you usually lose a wicket, is that you click on 66666 and you keep clicking and keep clicking, and then it's down to 24%, and then it's out! <laughs> Perfect example. So don't overclick. So even on the special power, and you know, there are lots of clicks for one game, but just, you know, if you are doing your special power, make sure you don't overclick because that happens. See, I've just overclicked there, look, on <laughs> hex. <laughs> I was pressing two lots, and um, hex popped up, and I got a minus two. Now comment down below what your favourite trait is. I do like Smash the Best, and then I think Times 2 is my third, um, with um, Rage in second, I'd say. I do really like Boomerang, but the problem is you have to hit a 6 for it to you know, be triggered. And if you're playing a hard team, hitting a 6 is only about 33%, so uh, you do have to take a bit of a risk. So my last tip today is there's a new alliance war coming along, so join an alliance. There are a couple of... Uh, bonus things about alliances one is you get secret chests well they're not really secret they're chests so if your team um, or alliance um, scores points then you get the chests we haven't quite opened chest free in our alliance yet but when you do you get bonuses if you want to join our alliance comment down below we'll see if there's a space England free lions is what we're in for but from tomorrow there is registration for an alliance war so that'd be interesting see what that's all about so just to recap my tips then in your squad, get one brilliant player, amazing player, and then the rest can then catch him up. Don't forget if you collect equipment, then to sell it from time to time, that will help you raise your money. I don't recommend buying shards or tier ups in the uh, season pass. Don't forget to click the shirts um, if you do do the uh, alliance quests. Don't forget to click the shirts when you do your daily quests. If you get a rival's thing, a revenge, have a look at the stats, and if they're beatable, then beat them, assuming you're not miles ahead in promotion. Because the other tip is don't overwin your league. Just just do enough to get promoted and that way your trophies aren't too high and it makes the next league a lot easier. In-game tips. So uh, if you've got a really good player, take a single or a one at the end of the over so they're back on for the next ball. Watch out just before you use your power up to check what the bowlers aren't. If that's close, then wait for the bowlers thing to be triggered and then use your power up. Don't overclick because you can lose runs or even wickets like we showed you. And finally, uh, join an alliance. I'm sure there's lots of uh, fun people out there to team up with. 
If you want to join us, then you're more than welcome. So I hope that's helped. It's a great little game. The glitches are being sorted out. Um, it's just a bit slow, really, but other than that, it's great. Um, really enjoying it. I am a cricket man, um, so um, this is a game for me, but um, I would recommend. And uh, if you want any help or anything like that, stick it in the comments, and he will do a video about it, or I'll reply on the comments. Uh, we have got a game play video which I'll upload and uh, you'll see that coming up at the end of this video hopefully with the little uh, subscribe link so um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!